Now, what part do you play in all this? I'll do my best! How pitiful, you soulless creatures!
How pitiful. You soulless creatures. You foolish creatures!
You're so tall, it's annoying. Dare to turn your sword to me?
know we can do it!
we can do it! journey continues. in this little lodge. Huh? Who in the world would be flying a kite all the way up here on top of a mountain? Hmm? That's not a kite, it's a dove. 
But I'm surprised to see one flying over a cold, snowy mountain like this. It's strange. Who cares about a bird at a time like this? Let's just go inside already. So Clabes became enamored with him, even though she knew she couldn't escape her deception. And that he'd eventually learn she was a spy. Oh well, once we have an endless supply of insane soldiers, there'll be no need to spy on Andantino. What about the one in Baroque? You mean Serenade? No, she's very dependable. And besides, her interests coincide with mine. What do you mean? Forte would be in a difficult position if we were to be attacked before we finished developing a more powerful mineral powder. Serenade's betrothal has made her a Baroque citizen, but she's still a princess of Forte. She's the perfect person to prevent Baroque from starting a war with us. She won't let them follow a path that could harm Forte. More importantly, Fugue should be busy searching a go-go forest for glowing agogos. Rondo, I want you to go there as well. If you find him slacking off, give him some encouragement. Yes. Ah, it's so warm in here. Hmm. There's something familiar about this place. It reminds me of my home in Tenuto. Ah, what's going on? Well, you see, each and every one of us has a jewel inside our hearts. A jewel? That's right, and that jewel is called an Astra. In some people it glows very brightly, and in others not very much at all. Nevertheless, Everyone has one. Do you think your Astra is glowing, Polka? Um, well, there were some cookies I ate without asking you, so... Maybe mine's not glowing. I'm sorry. Ah, so it was you that ate them. But you told me the truth, so it's all right. I'm sure that your Astra is still glowing. I don't know. I'm kind of worried. Hey, Mommy, do I still have time? If I do a whole bunch of good things, will it glow even more? Of course it will. Then I'll start tomorrow. Oh, you won't start today? Oh, Polka. Your Astra is glowing. But it's glowing far too brightly for this world. It's glowing so brightly that it is unconsciously leading you toward a deep darkness, one that must be illuminated. And someday, the moment will arrive when a sea of unending darkness will lie waiting before you. Oh, how I wish you weren't the only person who could bring light to that deep, dark abyss. If only there was someone else who could take your place, then it really wouldn't matter if your light ever dimmed. Polka, what's the matter with you? Hey, are you feeling all right? Uh, uh, it's nothing. I just felt dizzy for a minute. That's all. Well, the mountain air up here is very thin. Perhaps that was what caused your dizziness. Thin air, huh? Now that you mention it, my head has been hurting too. I guess it's just time for us to take a break. My legs are all worn out from all that climbing anyway. I agree. Let's try and get a little rest before we continue on, all right? towards some place that must be illuminated? A sea of unending darkness will lie before me? What... what does it all mean?
crazy. Now it feels like summer all of a sudden. And it was so cold just a little while ago. If the weather keeps changing back and forth like this, we're all gonna end up getting sick. There seem to be pools of magma around here. Let's all be very careful passing through this place. to bear your fangs? to bear your fangs? Now you will sleep. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'll do my best. Teeny tiny bit. Good. 
How pitiful. You soulless creatures.
you foolish creatures!
How pitiful. You soulless creatures. can see. You foolish creatures!
and obey. We'll disappear. Coup de grace. Go back. Back into a nebulous dream. This is but a brief party.
sun rises and the shadows take flight. Spirit's pathway. Earth heal. Good. Slam. Slam. <laughs>
but through a shining beacon that will bestow healing upon your broken wings. Spirit's pathway! <laughs> creatures.
Spirit's Pathway. Oh, my bad.
for me. Coup de grace! Now we will sleep. There is no way for you to stop my relentless advance. Rejoice for now. You're so tall, it's annoying.
now you will see. Forget the pain you felt in the dream. Earth heal! Thank you. Oh, it's Yeah! 
upon your broken wings. Spirit's pathway!
a go-go village. We just kept walking along and then boom! We ended up in the woods right smack dab next to it. I must be some kind of directional genius. Huh? Hey, isn't that your sister, March? You're right, it is! Hey! <gasps> Salsa, welcome home! I'm glad to see you're okay. I know you're totally hopeless without me around, so I was a little worried about you. But goodness, I sure ran into a lot of trouble on this trip. First I was thrown in a scary dungeon, and then I climbed a frozen mountain. I'm telling you, it was a spectacle! A truly astoundingly big adventure! Uh, um, Salsa? More importantly, you should probably take a look at that. What is it? What could possibly be more important than the story of my trip? Oh my goodness! The Agogos are glowing! In all the time I've lived here, I've never seen anything like that. It seems like something really has them all worked up. This time I've got to take a picture of them. I think they're trying to tell us something. Just look at how excited they are. I came to find out the secret of the glowing Agogos, but I never expected to find the place where they lived. I suppose luck is on my side today. Now that I think about it, I never did check around here before. You again. Redrid, do you know who this person is? He attacked us for no reason at all in a go-go forest. Did I really? I'm afraid I do tend to forget unimportant little details like that. But I have to tell you, today is not only my lucky day, it's all of yours as well. I had intended to take you all to Forte Castle. There you would have been made to suffer until you revealed the secret location of the glowing Agogos. But now that I know where they live, well, there's simply no need for extended torture. I'll just put you out of your misery right now. After all, we really have no need for you anymore. I'll allow all of you to comfort each other, since this is the end of your pathetic lives! I am not gonna lose this battle! Shaku! I can hear the accolades. Its elegant fragrance is lost amidst these weak! Shaku! I can hear the accolades. <laughs> For flowers to reflect in water, the water must be clean. Let's go! <laughs> 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 
Shaku! I can hear the accolades. Hear my command and advance. We'll disappear. Coup de grace. You've done nothing wrong. Earth Neo! Oh, it's Earth Neo! Thank you. Good! Here! Shaku! I can hear the accolades. I've got just the thing! I am ready. Earth Neo! Yes! Let's see! All right. See you. myself to be swayed by the beauty of your eyes, and I'll lower my blade. You sure talk big for someone who just got his butt kicked. <laughs> be sure to keep yourself safe and sound until the next time we meet. Remember, that's all the time you've got left. Hey, wait! Well, he's sure good at running anyway. Hey, is everybody okay? Yeah. But that got pretty rough. Boca, you're not hurt, are you? No, I'm all right. Thank you.
Hmm. So much for few. But that young girl, the Agogos only seem to glow around her. Why? Who is she? <laughs> of course! It's no wonder we couldn't find them all this time. It turns out that where they live isn't important at all. I think I'm starting to understand the so-called mystery of the glowing Agogos. Yes. It must be the girl. She is the key to everything. So sorry, Fugue. But I'm going to get the credit for this one. So, uh, what did that guy want, anyway? He said something about the secret of the Agogos. It didn't make any sense. It sounded as though he wanted to find where the glowing Agogos live. Yeah, exactly! Glowing Agogos? Who ever heard of such a ridiculous thing? Huh? Wait, you mean Agogos don't usually glow? Of course they don't glow. Jeez, if you don't know that much, you're even more of a baby than I thought you were. Actually, I've been doing a little research about it, and I've made a rather interesting discovery. The first time you came into the forest, you saw an agogo that was glowing. Isn't that what you told me? Yes, that's right. It was definitely glowing. What? Are you serious? I just can't believe it! I know. At first, I didn't believe it either. But when I looked into the tales passed down by previous forest guardians, I came across an old legend that talks about glowing agogos. A legend, huh? <laughs> you know, this is getting pretty exciting. Well, come on, tell us what it said. Right. Well, the legend went like this. Agogos are mirrors of the forest and mirrors of the heart. Reflecting the gleam of the shimmering jewel. When they glow, you will know the time has come. They shall become a light that comforts the dearest wish of the maiden's tears. Hmm. Very interesting. Come on, then. What does all that mean? It means... I've got no clue. What? <clears throat> you were acting like you understood it. Mirrors of the heart? Oh, did you figure something out, Polka? The jewel it mentions. Could that be an Astra? Yes, I think it could. I thought of the same thing as a possible explanation. In other words, perhaps the glow of the Agogos is the light reflected from an Astra. Hold on! I always thought that Astras were just something out of a fairy tale. If they are real, then I guess our Astras must be shining pretty bright to reflect that much light. It's not so much the Agogos around us, as it is the ones around Polka that appear to glow. What? Well, now that you mention it... This makes me wonder all the more about that thug we encountered. And didn't we hear that Count Waltz is searching for glowing agogos? Oh, I get it. Do you think maybe that guy could have been working for Count Waltz or something? It is a possibility. After all, Salsa was imprisoned for doing nothing more than going to Forte and asking to speak with the Count. This is starting to sound kind of dangerous. I don't want to leave March alone, so I think I'll keep an eye on things here for a while, okay? Actually, I'd really like to go and see my mom, so I'm gonna stop in Tenuto for a while. Alright, then let's pick a time for us to meet up again on Retardanda. I'm gonna head back to our hideout there and see what's up. You never know, Reto might already be back there waiting by now. That's true. Then perhaps I'll go along with you, Pete. I must find Jazz, and Retardando is where he's likely to be. Look, a dove is sitting on the windowsill. 
That's unusual. I'm surprised a dove would even be out flying in this snow. What is that? There appears to be something on the poor thing's leg. I wonder what it is. Something the matter? Uh, no. Jazz will never forget, and he won't ever be able to get over you! Well, it sure took you long enough. Leto! What a relief. I'm glad to see that you all got back here safely. it, Reto? Did someone get hurt or something on your way here? Actually... Jeez, that's just terrible. I can hardly believe it. Poor Claves. She must have been struggling with her conscience for a long time because of what she was doing. What about the others? Where are they? Viola went home to set her goats free. After that, she's gonna head for Salsa's house. We weren't sure, but we thought you'd all probably be heading over to Salsa's place. And what about Jazz and Falsetto? Well, actually... Ever since we learned about Claves' death, we kind of... haven't been able to find Falsetto anywhere. She's gone missing? Yeah. I mean, we tried looking for her all over the place. But she's just nowhere to be found. I don't know. Maybe she feels like she's somehow responsible for Claves' death. Poor Falsetto. Anyway, when we couldn't find her, Jazz headed for Baroque Castle. He said he needed to talk to someone there. At the castle? I suppose that would most likely be Prince Crescendo. We must have just missed his arrival. Who's Prince Crescendo? Oh, we were fished out of the water by a ship from Baroque. It was his really cool ship, and guess who the captain was? The Prince of Baroque himself! Are you kidding me? 
While we were all miserable trudging through swamps and poisonous forests, you guys were off having fun on a pleasure cruise? Don't think it was all fun and games, Reddo. We had a pretty rough time ourselves, you know. We even had to fight with pirates. Isn't that right, Frederick? Yes. And after the fighting, the prince entrusted us with a message he wanted us to deliver to Jazz. I never would have figured Jazz was the type to have a prince for a friend. But hey, at least this clears up one thing. I guess we know where we're headed to next. Oh, hey, by the way, Beat, where did Polka end up? <laughs> I figured you'd be wondering about her. Well, of course. She's a friend. Polka said that she wanted to make a quick stop in Tenuto so that she could look in on her mother. Okay, then that means we're gonna have to go there and bring her back. Hold on a minute, Reto. We all agreed that we were gonna meet back here in Retardando. Don't worry, she'll show up here before too long. So instead, why don't we give Frederick a tour of the town while we wait for everyone else to show up? Or maybe there's some reason that you just gotta go see Polka right this very minute, huh? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Fine, you want a tour guide? Then you got one. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> 